My name is Stephen Paul. Um, I've decided to be baptized today. Um, so I grew up in the church for most of my life, but I've never taken the step to be baptized. Um, I've always been involved in a lot of ministries. Um, I was a part of InterVarsity as an undergraduate student here at Tech, but I never decided to be baptized. Um, I think it was a little bit out of arrogance. It was sort of like, oh, I'm a good enough Christian. I don't, I don't need to meet this requirement. I already do everything else. I don't really need to be baptized. Um, but a couple weeks ago, I was reading about when Jesus was baptized and it struck me as Jesus took the time out to make sure that he did this. So it had significance. Um, and to be a little bit arrogant and say that I didn't need to do it was felt was, I was convicted of it. So I decided it was about time for me to make this proclamation of my faith in front of the church body. Growing up, I wasn't a regular church goer, but I grew up in a family that always encouraged to talk about Jesus and wanted us to know God. When I was about eight or nine years old, I was put into an unfortunate situation that kind of led me to turn to Jesus because I felt like I had nobody else. And he got me through some really rough times in my life. As life got better and I just became neutral, um, I kind of turned my back on Jesus and lost sight of what was important. At the beginning of this year, I realized that even though I was surrounded by all my friends and all my family, I had never felt more alone. And I knew it was because I had turned my back on God. One of my best friends had invited me to North Star, and I was completely against it because I was so nervous. I had never gone to church other than a Catholic church, which I found really intimidating. And so. I was convinced to myself I couldn't go because it would just be way too much. But over a span of like two weeks, it was just a thought that lingered in my mind and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I knew that I wanted to go to church and I needed to start somewhere. So I went to church and the whole night before I was anxious and sweating and nauseous and I couldn't sleep and I was terrified that I was gonna be judged or I was going to look stupid and then after my first service I realized that those crazy thoughts and that I had just met a lot of like the friendliest most supportive and understanding people and I loved it and I just kept going back and each time I went back I was so encouraged and I knew that I just wanted to live a life with Jesus and that life wasn't worth living if I wasn't living it for him. If you're thinking about seeking Jesus, there's just no way that you could go wrong. I would encourage someone to seek friends and family and people from church that have really powerful stories that just prove that he's so active. It's amazing because when you seek Jesus, you have always someone to thank for the good times and then someone to lean on when you're in times of conflict and discouragement. So you just can't ever go wrong with seeking Jesus. All right, so Stephen, it really is my joy to baptize you as my brother in Christ. And today I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in death. Raised to walk in unison. So Erica, it is so exciting to get to baptize you today as my sister in Christ, and I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Him in death, raised to walk in death.